My name is Coach Kali. I'm the founder of the Downtown Boxing Gym Youth Program here in Detroit, Michigan. Um, I started this program uh, basically as a way to give people uh, in our neighborhood a place to go, a safe place to go, and it turned into much more after that. The Downtown Boxing Gym Youth Program is about winning, not just in boxing, but in life. It's been a grounding force for Detroit youth since 2007, when Kali Sweeney started teaching his son and his friends how to box. We didn't have any recreation centers in my immediate area. We didn't have places for kids to go. And so what would happen is a lot of guys would just make up stuff to do or, or just find trouble to get into. The boxing lessons were having more than their intended effect. Not only were kids staying out of trouble, they showed focus and dedication. Coach Colley built on that to turn kids onto school. We still had kids that, are getting, that, that were getting pushed through school who, didn't, who couldn't read and write. That was one of the, the problems that was real big in my time when I was a kid, and it was still happening to this day. So that was, academics became like the main focus. Uh, education is a career. Education is a vehicle that can take you anywhere you want to go in life. The new motto at the gym became books before boxing. His trainees were using the gym to study. Word caught on and others wanted to join. Coach Colley had no grants or government funding, just a determination to help as many kids as he could. He gave his time and money. I spent so much that I had nothing else left. I was sleeping in the gym. I was sleeping in my car. I, I had been evicted. Um, I had nowhere to live, so I ended up living in the gym. I could have refocused that, but at the same time, I have to practice what I preach. Not, you know, being in somebody's life today and gone tomorrow. Coach Colley saw what neighborhood kids needed most was consistency. When they call you at 12 o'clock, 1 o'clock, 2 o'clock in the morning and they have a problem, you have to pick up the phone. Schools can't necessarily do that. No, schools don't do that at all. <laughs> I wouldn't expect them to. We really try to not limit ourselves. Jessica Hauser is the program's executive director. With her help, the youth program raised money, moved into a bigger facility, and brought in tutors. It now offers a variety of educational programs to 125 students ages 7 to 18, at least five hours a day, nearly every day of the year. So our program is, is free for our families. The program is not free to run. It, it costs $1,800 per student per year for us to, you know, to keep it going at the rate we're going, but it is free for our families. All they have to do is community service with us. Local companies help by offering free training in things like computer programming. To Coach Colley, the biggest reward is seeing students graduate from high school setting career paths, and wanting to return to help their communities. A kid will come to me and say, well, coach, you did this for me, and he'll be crying, and he'll say, kid, uh, coach, if it wasn't for you, or, or if it wasn't for this place, if it wasn't for that, and I always tell those guys, I say, man, just as much as you feel I helped you, you helped me, because I didn't have a cause, and a man without a cause is a man lost. I would expect, I would suspect that for every person who volunteers, they get that same level of or self, you know, they, they feel complete. 